West Coast Johnny. Happy New Year, January 1st, 2022. Today, what I'm doing, it's well, it's too cold outside to fiberglass. It's only 64 degrees outdoors, but inside my trailer with all the windows shut, it is 76 degrees, so I'm really stoked. So I knew that would happen. I put these chemicals, I got my laminating resin, my methyl ethyl ketone peroxide, also known as MEKP, and I got my surface seal, which uh, by adding just like three to 5% of this and mixing it, what it does, it makes your fiberglass so that it, when it dries, it won't have sharp edges. So that's kind of cool because that's going to prevent sanding. I don't want to do a bunch of sanding. So we're going to mix some of this in there. And what we're going to do is fiberglass this curtain rod holder in place, this one in place, and the two in the front. I got the, the sun shining in. My, I turn my, my camper so that the sun is shining right in. And now it's all warm in here. So like I said, 76 degrees. That's great. So we're going to go and I'm going to wear this because I'm going to have all the windows shut. And, and I just put a new filter in it. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up the fiberglass. Okay, uh, there's no resin on this. I just wanted to show you. I pre-cut my fiberglass pieces so that I could get the most out of them. I wanted them to kind of fit good, you know? See how that goes over the top and down the sides? And then I cut them all to fit, and they're just kind of sitting in there on their own. I'll pull them out so I can go ahead and mix them with the resin. Now this one, I overcompensated because I should have made this a little bigger, but I didn't want to keep cutting. I didn't want to have to deal with this seam later. So I have a seam. So I'm gonna have to seam seal these, but I didn't want to make a cut and then another cut. So I just put more fiberglass, but that's great. These will never come off. And I guarantee you, most people won't even be able to hold this and pull this fiberglass off if they tried as hard as they could. So if that's the case, it'll definitely hold some lightweight curtains. All right, well, here's my stuff. I'm gonna mix it up right here in the sink. I recycle a lot. So this, uh, this had goat milk in it. So now I just cut the bottoms off, see, and I could just use it for whatever. I used my little pliers so that I could get my pieces of fiberglass and I'm going to go ahead and mix it up, but I'm going to put this on. I won't be able to talk. So I'll just uh, do this and just do it and film it. All right, that one is all fiberglassed in place. This one, all fiberglassed in place too. I put another heater in here just to make sure that it stays 70 degrees. Wipe that drip and I got that one in. I just got to wipe that drip. I am going to put some heat on the pieces. The problem is here because I live in the desert it gets really cold as soon as the sun goes over the hill. The sun went over the hill about 10 minutes ago and it dropped considerably outside. So I'm hoping all this will kick off inside because, you know, I don't want the shell to start getting cold on the outside. It's only eighth inch thick. So it's kind of like a, a race 
the race is either going to it's going to set up great or it's not and i have to take it all off all right it's been about 20 minutes i have a heater in here just to make it hotter and as a matter of fact right now if you look it is uh I don't know if you can see that. It looks like it's right around 80 degrees. So that's actually perfect. Okay, so there that is. They're all like this. They all look exactly like this. They're just fiberglassed to the fiberglass shell. And th there's nothing better or stronger than that connection right there. Okay, there they are. There we go. It's almost 90 in here. It's 86 right on the money. All right. Well, it's been about an hour and the fiberglass is, is uh, it's kicking off, but it's kicking off slowly. So I probably should have added a little more activator, but that's okay because it's doing, it's, it's setting up correctly. So I know that uh, it's okay. So I'm just babysitting fiberglass. All right, I just came in the trailer. It is a, uh, it's dark outside, and uh, I was looking at this, and it's still eighty and eighty degrees. So that's actually great. Um, I just wanted to come in and check on everything. Oh yeah, see how dry that is. Nice, it's dry. That's perfect. So we're just gonna let it just dry all night. But it 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 did what it was supposed to do sometimes when it's too cold outside and you're trying to create a hotter temperature if you don't do a good enough job it's going to fail and all the fiberglass is going to turn white and it's not going to stick and you're going to have to uh, wait like a whole day for that to dry and then you're going to have to sand or grind it all off uh, that happened before on my on my 1958 glastron uh, we were trying to use a heater to heat up the fiberglass work we were doing. It was freezing outside, but we were using heat guns trying to create our own climate. And we thought it worked, but it didn't. And it just, the whole next day, when, I mean, the next day when I looked, everything, it, it like turned white and it raised off of the material. It just, it just didn't, it didn't, the, the chemicals did not react. So that is exactly what you want. And they, all four of them, you know, they all look like that. So I don't have to really uh, do anything over. See that? Just these, these are really soft too. See that? Those are, they're sharp. Okay, normally those fiberglass, that would hurt you. But because I use the, the uh, surface seal, it's very smooth. So, uh, this guy right here. And if you don't use surface seal, what happens is if you poke this, see that piece right there? If you were to poke that, it would be like a splinter in your finger. But see, right now it's really soft. See that? See how that bends? That's what you want because now this can't even hurt your skin because if fiberglass won't break down in your body. So if you get a splinter in your finger, it has to fester its way out. But if it doesn't and it just stays in your body, it stays in there forever because it, it won't, uh, your body can't do anything with it with fiberglass. So that cannot be pulled off. My friend Martine, uh, could not pull this off and he is one of the strongest men in the world and if he grabbed it with his fingers and pulled he couldn't pull this off because it's it's like one with the trailer now well almost maybe if I put a second piece of fiberglass over it uh, but I don't think I'm gonna need to do that so maybe maybe Martine could pull that off anyways so I'm gonna call uh, this a wrap well, actually, I'm not. Tomorrow, we're going to put the elephant skin back on and seam seal it, paint it, and then we can call the job complete. Right there. See that? That needs to be cut for this. Where that line is, that black line, that's this part of this holder, okay? And then the other part is just 5 eighths of an inch up. 
So I'm going to make some marks and some cuts, and I'll show you how I'm going to fit this in. All right, so now that we know where our cut's going to be, here's an extra hook. So what we're going to do, we're going to make our cut there. And then we're going to make a cut right here, but it's actually going to connect all the way. Now we got these two little uh, notches and this piece moves, see? So when we go to the wall, we're gonna go like this. And it's gonna fit. Okay, so that's gonna go on. We're just gonna glue this on. All right, well, there's one. And then over here, we got this one. It's, they're not glued in yet. I'm gonna glue them in right now. And uh, I just wanna show you, so they're just kind of dry fitted in place, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and glue them right now. Well, I think I'm gonna give this a shot. Uh, I'm not sure if I used this before on anything in here or not. I can't really remember if I did, but what I did was I just got a scrap of elephant skin that I had and I put a bunch of that on here and it uh, doesn't look like it's hurting the foam or anything. See, sometimes it'll dissolve, but that's, uh, that's actually not hurting it whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this Super 77 because this stuff is great. So I'm going to go ahead and just paper things off. Okay, I sprayed the back side. There we go. You want it to tack up for about 30 seconds. Uh, I'm not sure if I used this before on anything in here or not. I can't really remember if I did, but what I did was I just got a scrap of elephant skin that I had, and I put a bunch of that on here, and it uh, doesn't look like it's hurting the foam or anything. Okay, I sprayed the back side. Okay, there we go. You want it to tack up for about 30 seconds. Got to make sure you push it in everywhere and try to hold it flat, pushing it in. Okay. We have a piece of fiberglass right here. I got to cut that off. It's sticking out about an eighth inch. You're not even going to be able to tell where the cuts were. There's one. It's just drawing. There's two. It's the second one. It's just drawing. See that? You can barely even tell where it was cut. Look at that. You can't even see seams. We got this one back here. Okay, and then we got one right back here. Paint's still wet, it's just drying. 
and um, once it dries I think it'll look really nice and it's gonna hold my curtain rods forever okay well I got this curtain rod installed and I got this curtain rod installed so there they are they're installed and they're never coming off well hey thanks for joining this episode I'm gonna call it a wrap it's done curtain rods they're never gonna come down we're gonna move on to new things so we can continue the quest so we can go camping so um, thanks everybody please like subscribe hit that notification bell and I'll talk to you later